All right, here is lesson 109 in your math book, page 577 for the power up. And we'll start with the new concept on page 578. At the top it says, new concept. If we number the lines on a grid, we can name any point on the grid with two numbers. The two numbers in parentheses are called coordinates. So you put your finger on that blue word in your book and you say the word coordinates. Coordinates are like the address of a point. They tell us how to get to the point starting from 0, 0. And see, there's where the start spot is, 0, 0. The first number tells us how many spaces we move to the right. The second number tells us how many spaces we move up. For example, to get to the point 4, 3, we move sideways from 0, 0 to the 4. Here's 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we move up 3 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3. And there's the point 4, 3. So that's over 4, up 3 to the right, to the right four, up three. Starting from zero, zero, practice going to the right and then up to three, seven, and to eight, five. So three, seven, we're gonna go to the right three. One, two, three, up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And point eight, five, to the right eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and up five. One, two, three, four, five. And you guys can practice that on your own. You can pause the video and practice going to the right four and up three to get to point four, three. You can go to the right three and up seven to get to the point three, seven. And you go to the right eight and up five to get to point eight, five. So go ahead and pause the video and practice doing that on your own and then we will do example one. All right, example one. Write the coordinates, remember that's like the address of the point. Write the coordinates of points A, B, and C on this grid. To find the first number of the coordinates, we place our finger on the point and move it straight down until we get to the number on the bottom of the grid. To find the second number of the coordinates, we place our finger on the point again and move it to the left until we get to the number on the side. We will write the coordinates in parentheses. Remember, the coordinates are like the address of the point. Parentheses are these curved marks, just like we do for a uh, prepositional phrase in our grammar. So, point A is right here. And we're going to go straight down, and it's at the 4. So that's how we get the first number for the coordinates, the 4. And then we go back to point A, and we go all the way to the side, to the left, and we get to the number 2. So that's how we get the second number. So point A is at 4, 2, and this is how it's written, parentheses, 4, comma, 2, parentheses. And I'm making little marks. All right. Then point B is right here. We go straight down. Straight down. And it's at the 2. So that's how you get the first number. And then from point B we go straight over to the left and it's at 5. That's how you get the second number. So B is at 2, 5. And you write it parentheses, 2, comma, 5, parentheses. Point C is here. We go straight down for the first number, 5, and over to the left for the second number, 4. So we write it parentheses, 5, comma, 4, and parentheses. The biggest thing to remember is the first number tells how far 
over the point is. So to find out how far over it is, you have to go down to figure out which number along the bottom it's lined up with. So these numbers down here are always the first number, and these numbers along the side are always the second number. So if you're trying to figure out where the point is, you have to go straight down and then straight over if it's already there. If you're trying to, uh, like on the second example, example two on page 579, we're going the other, the other way. It says, name the letter of the point that has these coordinates. Now we're going to go over and then up six and then, oops, three. So we're going to, for point A, we're going over six, up three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and up three. One, two, three. That is point R. So A, six, three, is point R. It says to find six, three, we start at zero, zero, go sideways to six, then we go up three spaces, we see point R. B asks us to find the letter that's at two, four. <clears throat> so we go over two, one, two, and up four. One, two, three, four. That is point P. So to find two, four, we go sideways to the two, one, two. Then we go up four spaces, one, two, three, four. The letter of the point is P. So if you already have the numbers, you're going over first and then up to the right and up. If you need to find the numbers, the coordinates, and you already have the points on the grid, then you go down to find the coordinates and then to the left. That's if you need to find the coordinates, the address, the numbers. If you already have the coordinates, the address, the numbers, and you're trying to find where it is on the grid, you go to the right and then up. So right Lesson practice. So for lesson practice, we need to do this, this one on a separate sheet of paper. Lesson practice 109. Make sure you have your name on your paper. A says write the coordinates of the following points. Point A. So A Point A is here. To find the coordinates, I need to figure out how far over and then how far up. So how far over? Well, I'm going to go straight down to figure that out. We went over five. Because I need to find the number on the bottom row first and then the number on the side. That's how you write coordinates. So A is over five. So I'm going to write parentheses five comma. Now I need to figure out how far up we went. So start at A. Go all the way over, and that's at the three. So I'm gonna put the three after the comma and end the parentheses. B asks for point B. Point B is right here. If I go straight down, I figure out how far over we went, and that's at the 2. So I put parentheses, 2, comma, 
I go back to my point B and I go over and we went up one to get point B. That's how far up we went, one. C asks you to find point C, the coordinates. So here's point C. Point C, if we go straight down, we find out that it's over one. Parentheses, one, comma. And then back to point C, we go over to the four, and that tells us how far up we went, four. I want you to do D on your own. So you're going to do D by yourself. Now down here it says, name the letter of the point that has these coordinates. E asks us where six, three is. What letter is that? So I'm going to go down here to the zero, zero, and I'm going to go over six, up three, over six, up one, two, three, and that is point X. So for E, I'm going to write point X. I want you to see if you can do F on your own. Figure out what point is at 1, 4. Remember, go over first, then up. And you'll write the answer to F on your own. And that is the end of Lesson 109. You do not have written practice. So you are finished as soon as you get those last two D and F complete.